Hello everyone. In the third lecture of application of thermodynamics, our today's subtopic is chemical potential of an ideal gas in a mixture. Okay. So, let's start with the expression of chemical potential of a gas, of a certain gas, uh, at some temperature T and uh, some pressure P. But pressure is variable and temperature is constant. Okay. And let's assume that the uh, name of the component of the gas is I, I. That means it is the ith component of the gas. Okay. Now, when it is not mixed up with some other gases, that means when it is uh, in a pure state, okay, then it has a particular chemical potential, which is uh, expressed here as mu I. Now, for an ideal gas I at some certain temperature T, the expression of its chemical potential is mu I. Now, its rate of change with respect to pressure, what is it? It is energy by pressure, that means it has some volume expression. So, this is nothing but the partial molar volume. So, its rate of change with respect to pressure actually is its partial molar volume. That is, del mu by del P at constant temperature is Vi bar. That means the partial molar volume of the ith gas. Okay, I cannot use the term ith component because it is now in pure state it is not in a mixture so the component term is omitted here only the ith gas not ith component of gas okay so this is the partial molar volume so let us cross multiply it okay and uh, let's uh, let's mention the term isothermal then constant t is automatically mentioned so we can say d mu i equals to v i bar dp here since temperature is constant so we have mentioned the term terminology isothermally okay so we need not put any suffix t this suffix t is not necessary here to be shown now the what is the heading it is for an ideal gas so for one mole of an ideal gas the ideal gas equation can be applied okay so vi bar must be equal to rt by p because this is molar volume or molar volume okay so this is for one mole so n equals to 1 so in that case p equal to rt that means p uh, v equal to rt by p now this vi bar is rt by p okay so this value is here instead of vi we are writing here rt by p okay now we have to integrate both sides so that should be given some limits so what should be the limit as i am mentioning that the gas is pure it is not mixed up okay so in the pure state its chemical potential should be mu i star okay mu i star so this asterisk sign indicates its pure state when it is not in a mixture now the gas in the pure state must have some uh, certain pressure certain temperature so let us let us uh, assume that the pressure is p and the temperature is t but in order to reach that pressure or temperature or in order to attain that pressure P or attain that temperature T, it had started its journey from the standard state. So what was its chemical potential when it was in the in standard state? So what is the condition of STP? The condition of STP is standard temperature pressure R. Pressure is one atmosphere and temperature is 298 Kelvin. At that point, the chemical potential of that ith component or ith gas, ideal gas, is mu i0. Okay. So, that two mu value are the limits. So, we have to give the integration limits mu i0 to mu i star in the left hand side. And in the right hand side, the lower limit should be standard pressure that means 1 atm and the upper limit should be any pressure that should be denoted as p so if mu i0 is the chemical potential at stp that is at pressure 1 atmosphere and temperature 298 kelvin and mu i star is the chemical potential at any other pressure of the gas say p and temperature t the asterisk sign indicates its pure state so here mu i star means the gas is in its pure state having the chemical potential okay then integrating both sides of this equation giving limits from stp to any other state that means 1 atm pressure and 298 kelvin to any other pressure p and temperature t 
and uh, the limit of chemical potential is mu i 0 to mu i star. How does it look? Let us see. So, the lower limit is mu i 0, upper limit is mu i star integrating d mu i and in the right hand side since temperature is constant so rt is taken out of the integration sign and in the integration limit lower limit is 1 atmosphere and the upper limit is p so dp by p so on proceeding we get mu i star minus mu i 0 equal to rt ln p and this when taken to the right hand side so it becomes mu i star equals to mu i 0 plus rt ln p this p is capital letter p that means this is the pressure of the ith gas when it is pure okay it is not mixed up in any uh, in uh, with other ideal gas so thus we get this equation number 7 okay actually in my previous lectures pre lecture 1 and lecture 2 uh, we had obtained up to equation 6 that's why uh, as a part of continuation of that of this series this is equation number 7 okay now this equation number 7 is very important. What is the expression of equation number 7? The expression of equation number 7 is mu i star equals to mu i 0 plus rt ln p. That means mu i star is the chemical potential of the gas when it is pure and it is at any temperature t and any pressure p. And what is the relationship with this? The relationship with this is this is actually when the gas was at stp. And P is its pressure. Now, if this pressure, maintaining this pressure, the gas is mixed up with some other ideal gases, then the partial pressure of the ith gas should become something else. It, it, is, it is no more remains capital letter P. Let us say or let us assume it is small letter P i. And now you can say Ith, you cannot you can say ith component of gas instead of ith gas you can say ith component of gas now it has become a component of the mixture okay it is not a fixed component now it is uh, uh, it, it, actually it is definitely a component uh, when it is in a mixture okay now if the gas is present within a mixture then the ith component would have the chemical potential now this mu i is different from this mu i star this mu i is actually the chemical potential of the gas when it is present in a mixture. But this mu i 0 is same, is similar with this mu i 0 because the gas is individually the same gas. Okay, this is the ith gas or ith component of gas. So its standard chemical potential should never change. It is a constant. At STP its mu i 0 value should remain the same wherever it is it may be it is in a mixture it may be in a pure state so this mu i 0 are same now with this mu i 0 both mu i and mu i star can be related now how this relationship can be established already we have found mu i star the relationship of mu i star with mu i 0 in equation number 7 now we have got equation number 8 instead of if instead of capital P if now now become this capital P becomes total pressure of the gas mixture okay it is no more the pressure of the individual gas this is the total pressure of the gas mixture and instead of that capital P we are inserting here small letter PI PI is the partial pressure of the ith component of gas okay so what is the relationship between small letter PI and capital P the relationship between small letter p i and capital p can be uh, obtained by the relations obtained from the relationship small letter p i by p equal to mole fraction and what is mole fraction it is x i that means if p i by small letter p i by capital p is x i then small letter p i equals to x i p so this relationship here after cross multiplying we have writing here okay so where pi is the partial pressure of the ith component of the gas now if xi is the mole fraction of the gas and capital letter p is the total pressure of the gas mixture then small pi equals to xi into p so we have to put xip instead of small pi in equation number eight so putting this value in equation number eight we get mu i equals to mu i zero rt ln instead of small pi what we have written 
we have written here x i capital letter p so this x i capital letter p uh, this is a logarithmic relationship so this can be expanded as r t ln x i plus r t ln p okay now these two terms mu i 0 plus r t ln p these two terms together are actually the right hand side of equation number 7 that is it is actually the mu i the value mu i star that is the chemical potential of the gas at pure state okay so mu i star is actually mu i 0 plus r t ln capital p which is actually the chemical potential of the ith component at pure state which is obtained from equation number 7 so instead of these two terms we are writing here mu i star so we have got a new relationship a new equation which is equation number 9 and this is our destination so this is the chemical potential of an ideal gas when it is present in a mixture it can be related with the chemical potential of the gas with uh, when it is uh, in the pure state and this is the mole fraction of the gas which is actually present in the mixture so this equation 9 is our destination and here uh, further we have to mention that x i is always less than unity definitely because this is the mole fraction this is always less than unity that is that is less than one it's a fraction so uh, the ln x i term must be always negative that means mu i star must be greater than mu i so the chemical potential of any gas in a mixture which is mu i this is always less than that of its pure state which is mu i star so this is the expression of a uh, of an ideal gas when it is present in a mixture also it is related with the expression uh, when it is pure okay so that's all for today thank you and have a nice day